What's up everyone, it's Elliot here, back for another video talking about Arrow Video. And in particular, I'm going to mention the Arrow Video Easter sale that is going on right now. So I'm going to give you 10 recommendations for films and some box sets that you could pick up during this sale. Like I always say, don't worry if you're not watching this during the sale, because these recommendations stand regardless of the price of these films. Okay, first recommendation. I'm surprised this is even still available, let alone on sale. The one I'm talking about is Arrow Video's Robocop box set. This is a beautiful set and I'll just crack it open. I'll, I'll show you what's inside. You get this very thick booklet. This is a brilliant booklet uh, with lots of writings, original artwork on the back as well. You get a poster of the arrow artwork that's on the front of this. So if you wanted, you could display this on your wall. And then of course you get the, the disc inside this case. I think this is on sale now for £17.50, which is an absolute steal for one of my favorite films of all time. If for some reason you're not familiar with Robocop, it's directed by Paul Verhoeven, who is an incredibly interesting filmmaker. And he tackles this in, you know, a very European arty way. It isn't just a typical action film, although it works as just an action film, but there's so much commentary in here about society, about filmmaking. Yeah, I just love this film. So for £17.50, it's an absolute steal. What are you waiting for? I know that there's also a steelbook edition of this as well, which I am very tempted to double dip. I just don't know if it's worth the money for me to double dip right now. But yeah, Robocop, just get it, just get it. Next up is a box set that I think is tremendous value for what you get. It's Arrow Video's Ring Collection. I love Ring, the first film. And the other two films, you know, they're fine films as well. But particularly Ring is one I love. And to see it in this great presentation in this box set is tremendous. This particular box set was the first printing. So you'll notice it's this bluey green color this one is not available anymore i think it's in a white box now but it's pretty much the same package you just don't get the booklet in it i believe but it's great value for three films ring is one of the best j horror films of all time so what you're waiting for definitely check out the ring collection this next one is another box set that i think is tremendous value and i've waxed lyrical about this one before on the channel so excuse me while i recommend it again it's the complete sartana box set this is a tremendous box set of spaghetti westerns featuring the main character sartana the films have crazy names i've mentioned the names of the films before what's interesting about the sartana films is the influence that these have had on spaghetti westerns and just pop culture in general if you're a fan of the red dead redemption video games which take a, a huge inspiration from spaghetti westerns a lot of people say they mainly take inspiration from the sergio leone films but i actually think there's quite a bit of sartana in those games and also recently i've been re-watching the mandalorian the star wars disney plus tv show and there's uh, there's a few sartana references in there i think so very interesting if you are familiar with Spaghetti Westerns, you've liked the Sergio Leone films. This is a great next jumping in point. You get five films in the box set. Uh, I can't remember the exact price, but it's a bargain, whatever you pay for this. So complete Sartana. If you're liking these recommendations, by the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and also leave a comment letting me know if you're going to be picking up any of these films during the Arrow video sale. I'll quickly mention the addiction for your consideration. This is from Abel Ferreira, who is such an interesting filmmaker. He has another film, oh no, he has two other films in the Arrow video collection. He has The King of New York with Christopher Walken, which is a great film. And then he has Driller Killer, which I think Driller Killer was his first film or one of his early films. It's such an interesting take on a vampire story. So for £7.50, I think it's well worth checking out. I'm also going to recommend Blowout from Brian De Palma, starring John Travolta. One of my favourite De Palma films. I recently re-watched Blow Up from Michelangelo Antonioni, which this film is, you know, very closely based on. 
But then Brian De Palma's doing his own thing, his own Hitchcock-inspired thing. It's shot by the brilliant Vilmos Sigmund, who is one of the best cinematographers of his time, for sure. It's a great pulpy film. I love it. So, blow out for your consideration. This next one is one that I don't think a lot of people talk about as one of the great teen films of the 80s. But I love this film so much. It's The Last American Virgin. A great coming-of-age story. You know, maybe not that appropriate in today's world, but to be honest, a lot of 80s films just aren't appropriate at all. But, you know, who cares? This is a great film, great teen movie, and there's some very interesting sequences in this that almost reminded me of a Federico Fellini film. There's a particular sequence where the boys are watching this older woman and, you know, they are kind of lusting after her. Very similar to what goes on in Fellini's Eight and a Half. So, yeah, maybe I just drew that connection because I'd recently watched Eight and a Half. But, yeah, anyway, Last American Virgin, great teen movie. I've got to mention Society from Brian Yuzner. It's this suburban drama that then, very much towards the end of the film, turns into this body horror this flesh-morphing, flesh-melting visual feast. It goes full-on crazy at the end. I've said before, it feels like you're watching an episode of The O.C. for about an hour, and in the last half an hour, it just goes totally off a cliff into Crazyville. So, society, if this cover doesn't intrigue you, I don't know what will, but it's a brilliant, brilliant body-morphing horror film. I'd also recommend... To Live and Die in L.A. from William Friedkin. This is such a great movie. It is quite similar to French Connection, which Friedkin also directed. And great performances and a very interesting score from Wang Chung, which I have on soundtrack vinyl as well. It's a brilliant film. Absolutely brilliant. So if you're a fan of Friedkin's other works, I would totally recommend. This next one is very strange. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's Crimes of Passion from Ken Russell, of all people. Ken Russell is such an interesting, varied and controversial filmmaker. This is the guy that made Women in Love and The Devils and then films like Crimes of Passion. It's a very erotic, sleazy, sexy film starring Kathleen Turner and Anthony Perkins. She plays this prostitute leading a double life and it's done in such an interesting Ken Russell way. That's all I can really say about it. Another reason to recommend it is it has such an incredible over-the-top score from Rick Wakeman. So yeah, Crimes of Passion for your consideration. And lastly, I'm going to round out my Arrow video recommendations with The Burning. This is a crazy film, and for the longest time it was very hard to watch because it's one of the video nasties that got banned And it has incredible effects, some very interesting sequences that have been very inspirational to many modern horror directors. If you're familiar with the film, you'll know the very famous scene when all the kids are on the raft in the middle of the lake. It's absolutely amazing. Brilliant slasher fare. It's a very typical story. It's a load of kids at a summer camp and there's a killer on the loose who wants to get revenge. But if you've not seen The Burning for, I think it's £7.50 in the sale, totally recommended and it also has a very early performance from jason alexander from seinfeld so totally crazy film well worth getting that concludes my recommendations for this arrow video sale but if you liked this video it's well worth checking out the one i did during the last arrow sale where i recommend a whole load of other films that you may end up liking so i would definitely recommend you checking that out If you enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video because that would really help get this video out there to the people that love Arrow Video. And do let me know in the comments below what films you're considering picking up during this Arrow Video sale. I'll be back with more videos on Blu-rays and Arrow Video very soon. So until then, keep safe, keep watching great movies. And if you want to watch more videos from me, just click the video that's on the screen right now. Anyway. I'll see you soon.